I'm asked a lot about tips, uh, how to catch big pike. And the first tip I always give, and it's so simple, is remember to check if there's big pike in there, or you've got to really think it's got a history of big pike. A lot of people spend a lot of time on a venue where there's never been any big pike, or there never will be any big pike. All I can say is make sure they're in there, because it doesn't matter how good you are, doesn't matter what tips I give you, what rods, what reels or whatever, if they ain't in there, you can't catch them. And that's the same with any big fish. They've got to be in there for you to catch them. My next tip is make sure you use very, very strong tackle. They will stand for it. No need to be fine lines, etc. I will be using 40 pound braid in still waters, uh, uh, Pike Pro braid, 40 pound braid, 30 pound wire, very strong tattle. At the end of the day, you might be casting quite a big bait. You might be playing a fish in a, an enclosed area where there's snags. The important thing is you don't want to be leaving two trebles if you hook a snag. The nice thing about heavy tattle is if you've got a good strong rod, heavy braid, you can actually pull and actually bend the hooks. So it's important, it can be a very strong fighting fish in the, in the depth of winter, it can be very sluggish, but sometimes, especially in September, October, or in March, April, when the water's warming up a bit, they can be a very strong fight, and you get 18 to 30 pound fish crashing and jumping at the surface, you need strong tattle to land them. So make sure you use strong tattle, good swivels, good hooks, good braid, then you're gonna land a big fish. My next tip is, if you're dead baiting, make sure you use quality bait. It's the same with any kind of fishing, whether you're a match angler and using quality maggots and casters or whatever. It's no difference with pike. Just because it's pike and it's a predator, don't use old baits, baits that's been in the freezer for years, baits that's been refroze, taken out, refroze again, they've gone mushy. I like quality baits. And there's a number of companies out there that do, uh, do dead baits. I obviously use Pike Pro. They're quality baits. They come to you really fresh, they're frozen fresh, and I keep them fresh in a freezer. I put them in a, a bag, a freezer bag to take them to the water. So right through the day, whether I use one at eight o'clock in the morning or five o'clock in the evening, they're always fresh, they're frozen. Within a couple of minutes of going in the water, they'll be, uh, they'll be thawed, but I'm always using quality bait. No matter what bait it is, it's got to be quality. My next tip, Okay, you found a water with some decent pike in, but it could be a big water. Where are the pike? Because they won't be everywhere. So do a bit of research. Ask other anglers. They might not be pike anglers, but ask other anglers where they've had pike attacks, where they've seen pike take, where you see sprays of fish with pike hunting. You might, uh, uh, grebes or kingfishers or whatever, where they're hunting small fish. Pike won't be far away. So make sure you're in the right spot as well. And actually you can form your own a good spot by pre-baiting. Find an area where pike live anyway, don't try and pre-bait the other end of the lake, but find a spot where pike will be, pre-bait uh, uh, with bits of fish. Always do it in the morning, don't do it at the end of the day, don't do it in the evening after you, uh, after you finish work because you're going to produce a night fished water. Okay, so fish the right spot. After a water's been fished, maybe a year, maybe two years, and it's had pressure, very often at the end of the day, a lot of pike anglers, instead of taking the bait home to refreeze it, what they'll do is throw it in the side. That's our five, six o'clock uh, at this time, you know, sort of February, March. And what's happening is those fish will get used to feeding in the dark. So don't be frightened to fish at dark. A couple of hours in, two or three hours, or even overnight, because on hard waters they've been pressurized, the pike are still in there, you can't get takes in the day, but you could quite easily get takes at night. So don't be frightened to, to fish at night. I've had lots of big pike at night, and you know my friend Nigel Williams has had them to 40 pound in the middle of the night. So they do night feed. 